All right, today's topic is going to be a controversial one, but as this is on the internet, I'm sure we can all have a reasonable, rational, and civil discussion about it. What I'm going to be talking about is how tone woods don't really matter. Fool this man! Now, tone woods and acoustic guitars absolutely do matter, and they are essential to the construction and sound of the instrument. I'm not arguing that. I'm just talking about electric guitars. Now, the way electric guitar pickups work is through a process of electromagnetic induction. Basically, when you move the string through the magnetic field that the guitar pickup creates, that induces electricity. Because of how electric guitars work, the body material doesn't really affect the tone that much. And as George Beecham, the pioneer of the electric guitar, said in his 1930s patent, the body may be varied considerably in size, shape, and construction, and may be constructed out of various materials without departing from the spirit of the invention. I mean, that's why guitars like Aristides guitars, which are entirely made out of non-wood materials still sound amazing and don't sound vastly different or different at all from wood guitars. So I want to do a little experiment. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. I took my Solar A2.7 and my Schecter Cam Mark III. Both of these guitars here, which are very different woods, the Solar is an all mahogany neck and body with an ebony fretboard, 26 and a half inch scale length, string through hip shot bridge and the cam mark three is a nine piece wenge purple heart and maple neck with swamp ash wings and a veneer cap on top also string through also with a hip shot bridge also 26 and a half inch scale length to cut down on any other variables i'm using the same exact pickup i'm putting it at the same exact pickup height i measured it with a ruler and I'm going to be using the same wiring. I'm not going to be using different pots. I'm not going to be soldering. I'm using a Mad Hatter Terminator system to go to the same volume pot and out to the same output jack. That way there's no differences in wiring. There's no difference in pot values. Pots sometimes, even if they're the same value written on them, they vary, they have variances. If it says 500K, it could be a little less, a little more. So in one guitar, the same pickup could sound brighter or darker. That's just how it is. So this is the same wiring, all solderless, same pot, same output jack, same pickup, same pickup height on guitars with the same scale length, but completely different woods. We're going to hear this through a little bit of distortion. We're going to hear this through some cleans. Tell me if you hear a difference. So did you guys hear a difference there? Well, to be honest, I, I might have meant the truth a little bit. Uh, the first guitar was actually the Schecter and not the Solar, and the second one was actually the Solar and not the Schecter. I did that because a lot of you were going to listen with your eyes and not with your ears. Let's take a listen again, but with, with the actual names on them this time. Gonna have any labels at all we're just gonna listen to these going direct into my interface i'm gonna have an eq going and you can see that there's no real difference visually and i can't hear any difference between the two
So those results are definitely interesting. Um, they're very different woods, but they don't sound different at all. But they definitely should if tone wood affected it. I mean, having completely different neck and body should drastically alter the tone, but it doesn't. And that's because electromagnetic induction, the electronics on the guitar are what matter. And more than that, the construction of the guitar is what matters. These are both string through, hip shot, they're the same scale length. I have the same type of string on there, the same gauge. I'm playing with the same guitar pick. It's the same material through the same gear. That's what's going to determine your tone. Now, if it makes this little of a difference, how is this such a pervasive myth? How is this something that even now, I'm sure people in my comment section are arguing about? Well, it does make some sense. Like I said, tone wood is absolutely a thing on acoustic guitars. So it makes sense for guitar players to extrapolate that out to electric guitars. But it also makes sense for when guitar players are trying to figure out why one guitar sounds different than another. Especially back in the day. I mean, build quality used to vary widely from builder to builder within a company. You would get pickups that were wound differently, electronics that were different values, and people would play through what was supposed to be two of the same guitar, and they would sound widely different. People would think, oh, must be the woods in this one, or it's heavier, or XYZ. They would, tr they would try and come up with something to explain it. But the reality is, it's the construction of the guitar, the electronics, how well it's set up, its scale length, all of that contributes more than a tone would ever, ever could. If tone would affects the tone at all, it's so minuscule as to not even be noticeable within a recording, and it's so negligible that I've personally never been able to pick out differences when using the same electronics on guitars. Not with my own gear, not when I worked in guitar stores, never. I guess the point of this is so we can stop all arguing about tone woods, and it's something that you're gonna still see pickup websites, guitar websites, all of them are gonna post about, oh, this pickup sounds best in this type of guitar, or if you're constructing this and want this sound, you're gonna wanna pair a mahogany with maple, or you're gonna want an alder body with a maple neck. Just get what you think looks good, what feels good, and what sounds and plays good. Don't buy something because you think Mahogany is going to magically change your tone somehow. Thanks for watching. Stay metal.